Grade 7 Math, number 1.4a, Applying Addition and Subtraction of Integers. For solving a multi-step problem, I want to break the problem up into different parts. I want to read the equation, add or subtract from left to right to find the value, and make sure we answered what was being asked. Take a look at this one. We have negative 16 plus 4 plus a negative 12. So that's a lot going on right there. So we're just going to break it up into this little piece here, negative 16 plus 4. I'm going to follow our rules. We have a negative 16 and a positive 4. And remember what the rule is? We add different signs, so we find the difference. So because this is a negative and that's a positive, and we're adding, and the signs are different, we're going to find the difference. Different signs, difference. See? And the difference between a 16 and a 4 is 12. Then we take the sign of the larger absolute value. And which one's bigger and, and farther away from 0, the 16 or the 4? Well, the 16 is. So that's what we're going to use, the negative from the 16. Okay. So now we still have this negative 12. So now we've got negative 12 plus negative 12. Well, 12 and 12 is 24. And the signs are the same, so we just add them together. And we've got 24. And for what sign do we use? Well, they have the same sign. Don't, don't see how they have the same sign right here? And we're adding. So we use the sign of the add-ins, so we have a negative 24. See? That wasn't that hard, was it? That wasn't that bad? Okay. Here's applying properties to solve problems. So do you remember the commutative property? Okay. So you're at home, and you commute. That means get in the car and drive or ride your bike or whatever. Like, you know, men commute to work and women commute to work, people commute to work and home, and they say, oh, the commute was terrible, the traffic was bad. That's the commute. It's the travel, okay? So if you commute to a friend's house three miles, pick them up, and then commute two more miles to school, you've gone five miles, haven't you? You've done three plus two equals five. Well, when you're leaving school, and you guys go two miles to the friend's house, drop them off, and then go three miles home, you've still gone five miles. It didn't matter if you were going to school or to home. You still went five miles. It's the same distance. That's the commutative property. It says it doesn't matter which way we commute. It's going to be the same amount, okay? Then we have the associative property of addition. Do you know what an associate is? Like a business associate? It's like a coworker. It's like somebody you hang out with. So the associative property of addition says it doesn't matter who associates together first. They're all together and equal the same in the end. If the two and the three hang out together and associate together and then the four comes along, it still equals nine. And if the three and the four associate together first and hang out and then the two comes along, it still equals nine. See? doesn't matter who associates with who first. All right? That's the associative property. So these properties, we can use these properties to group compatible numbers together or to rearrange an equation so that it'll be easier to solve. See? All right. Now, comparing values of expressions, which expression has a greater value? Now, if you look at this equation and this equation, again, like the first one, we're going to break it into smaller parts. So we're going to start right here with negative 12 plus 6. And then we're going to compare the two. All right? We've got a negative 12 and a positive 6, and these are different signs. And because we're adding, we're going to find the difference. Different difference. So negative 12 and a positive 6, the difference between 12 and 6 is what? What's the difference? That means subtraction. Well, 12 take away 6 is 6. Now we use the sign of the integer with more absolute value. The absolute value of negative 12 is 12, and the absolute value of 6 is 6. 12 is bigger. It's got a negative sign, so our answer is a negative 6. But we can't forget about this negative 4. We still need to do him, don't we? So now we've got a negative 6 minus 4. Do you remember what we do when we subtract? We add the opposite. So instead of taking away a positive 4, we're going to add a negative 4. Okay? So now this is what our equation looks like. Now we're adding like signs. So a negative 6 and a negative 4 is 10. We take the sign of the add-ins. They're both negative, so it's a negative 10. So this one comes out as negative 10, okay? So remember, we're going to compare it to this other one, okay? All right, so now we start with negative 34 minus 3 plus 39. So we've got negative 34 minus 3. Well, when we subtract, what do we do? It's subtracting, isn't it? 
we add the opposite. Whenever you see a subtraction sign with integers, you add the opposite. So that's going to turn into a plus sign. And because he's not in parentheses, he's a positive 3, isn't he? If this was negative 34 minus negative 3, it would have been written like that, right? With him in parentheses, and it's not. So that means he's positive. This is the subtraction sign, and then he's positive. He doesn't have a subtraction sign, see? It's not like that. So there's no parentheses. So we know he's positive. So now we need to add the opposite. So if he's positive, we're going to add the negative. So now we got a negative 34 plus a negative 3. What's negative 34 plus a negative 3? We've got the same sign, so we just add, don't we? So a negative 34 and a negative 3, 34 and 3 is 37. Okay, so we got a 37. And because they have the same sign, we use the sign of the add ends, so it's a negative 37. Okay? So now we got a negative 37, but we can't forget we've got to add this 39. Okay? We have a negative 37 plus a positive 39. And when they're different signs, we're adding different signs, we find the difference. What's the difference between 37 and 39? 2 right? There's a 2 difference. 37, 38, 39, 2. And what do we do? We take the sign of the one with the greater absolute value. The absolute value of negative 37 is just 37. The absolute value of 39 is 39. And the bigger one is the 39, and it's positive, so it's going to be a positive 2. So this one's answer is a positive 2. See? So now we're comparing. This is a negative 10 and that's a positive 2. All right? So hopefully you understand this now. And we're going to do some word problems in the next one using all these. Okay? So stick with me. And we're going to get through this. By the time we're done, you're going to be a professional at all this. Okay? Just pay attention. Keep taking notes. And you'll be fine. I know you can do this. Bye.